the Movie Bar Podcast. Welcome to the Movie Bar Podcast. Enjoy the show. Hello and welcome to our bonus episode, Fresh from the Stream, presented by the Movie Bar. Let's start the show. I'm John. I'm Justin. I'm Billy. How are you guys doing this week, Justin? You don't look too thrilled. Oh, I was just having fun sitting here. Just having fun, yeah. Being yeah me. All right. Billy, how are you doing? You and Pee Wee? Okay. Were... Me and Pee Wee, we haven't burned the house down, even though we're home alone while my wife is off gallivanting with my son across uh, Europe. When do they come back? Uh, the third. Oh, okay. Cool. So I still got time to burn the house down. I'm sure she left specific instructions not for you to touch the stove. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> hey, they were all gone from Thursday to a little Sunday, so I had a few days. He tells That's us this now. We could have done shit. <sighs> well, now it's time for our Fresh from the Stream. This week we will be covering Monkey Man, which is on Peacock. Close your eyes and you will find yourself. When I was a boy, my mother used to tell me a story of a demon king and his army. They brought fire and terror to the land. Until they faced the protector of the people, the white monkey. There you are. You are a beast. In this city, the rich don't see us as people. Give me the job no one wants to do. I'll do it. Anyone who forgets their place, it doesn't turn out well for them. This is not the place to work if you can't handle that sort of stuff. Every day, I've prayed for a way to protect the weak. I've got an answer to every prayer. I call her Nikki. Minaj! Big bumper? Nice headlights. Let's boogie! fight for your mother, for all of us. Anger will not quiet your soul, my son. Don't call me son. It's time to remember who you show up. But only love kills more when will they learn? Just one small ember can burn down everything. Mark you. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for a fight? One, two, three. On the cock. <laughs> Monkey Man is on the cock. Well, a young man ekes out a meager living in an underground fight club where night after night, wearing a gorilla mask, he is beaten bloody by more popular fighters for cash. After years of his suppressed rage, he discovers his way to infiltrate the in- 
Enclave, Enclave. Enclave of Enclave. the City Sinister Elite. As his childhood trauma boils over, he mysteriously his mysteriously scarred hands unleash an explosive campaign of retribution to settle the score with the men who took everything from him. Yes. Rating is uh for this is R. It's a runtime of two hours and one minute. Directed by Dev Patel with a box office of thirty four point one million USD, release date of April fifth, twenty twenty four, on a budget of ten million. And as stated, it is currently streaming on Peacock as well as for purchase on all streaming sites. And I believe yeah. it's now available for Blu-ray too. Yeah, it's twenty fifth. So yeah. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, well, Tuesday. <clears throat> and our cast of characters, and I'm gonna apologize now before I completely about you know just destroy some of these names. I'm very American. Sorry. <laughs> just remember, it's phonetic. It's like <clears throat> unlike Patel as Kid Bobby and Monkey Man. Trunkto Copley as Tiger. Tito Bash as Alfonso, Jatin Malik as Young Kid, Sikander Kerr as Rana, Lupita Tulipala as Sita, Mahran Ishpande as Baba Shakti. I love that name, Baba Shakti. That's great. Yeah, that was a great game. <laughs> Ashwini Kalaskar, Kalsakar as Queenie. Vipin Sharma as Alpha, Aditi Kalkunte as Neela, Jomon Thomas as Mirza, Pehan Abdul as Lakshmi, Rahim Chab as King Cobra, Max Yanto as Abalu the Bear, and Harshit Mahawar as Lucky. Very well done, Justin. I gotta say, that was I think that was uh, pretty uh, spot on. And you fucking assholes tried to give me that. Fuck yeah. you. Oh, yes, please. You darn right. He nailed it. You could have done it. No. Jeez. No. All right. So let's fast. talk about the premise of this movie. Um, obviously, it's revenge. Bobby. It's revenge. It's a good revenge story. Why, why fight in the monkey mask? That's my question. That's yeah, like Bobby. wrestling. Yeah. He's his character. He's That's what it was. There throwing fights. Okay. He's the jobber. Just look at him as the Barry Horowitz. That's it. That's what he is. He's the okay. Barry Horowitz. Okay, I'll, I'll think... He decides he's had enough of that role. He wants to stop whooping some ass. And he needs to be head of the table. Yeah, I don't know. I think he had a good reason to, to want revenge for what they did to his mom and oh, yeah. his village. and Yeah. Yeah, uh, obviously that drives a man to go crazy and sadistic and fuck shit up. Mm-hmm. But uh, so obviously you know getting his ass kicked all the time, and then he works as a waiter at night. Yeah, well, how well, he got, got that job is great. You know, he yeah. he he pretty much, you know, he had someone that. paid someone to pickpocket Queenie, get her wallet. And then returned it to get the job. Yeah. Very sneaky. Genius. That was, it was very sneaky. Very sneaky, but very smart at the same time. Yeah, it was, it had it pretty well planned out. Yeah, so let's talk about the princess there. Obviously runs a very fashionable high-end restaurant. Hmm. The whole nightclub with the... Well, All the drugs right. and prostitution going on. Yeah. I would call that more a brothel. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I never knew that there were different glasses for red wine and white wine. Me neither. That's because we're not fancy rich people. That yeah. guy was a fucking dick, wasn't he? Yeah, I was kind of hoping he got punched in the face. <laughs> eh, yeah. He was about to a few times. Yeah, I think so. But, uh... All right, Billy, why don't you lead this con- rest of this conversation? Because I am having major memory withdrawal with this one. Well, you know, uh, you know, the whole thing with uh, you know, the, the 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 kings is uh, to get to Rama, who's the chief of police. 
who is the man who murdered, you know, uh, Ray Pete. Pete, yeah, his uh, his mother killed her, and uh, that's his main thing to get to him. And uh, Baba Shaki, who's like this kind of like religious figurehead who's come from the ghettos up to power and he's running like a sovereign party that's trying to take over India. It's kind of weird. Maybe, maybe that's what kind of drew me out of it. Right. What's the setting? Because when it first started, I started getting serious China salesman vibes. Yeah. It's a racist, John. No, it's not racist. It's It's not. <laughs> it's not racist. It's I mean, different. I mean, it's. And you know how I feel about subtitles. Yeah, there is some subtitles, but I mean, at least they were sp- spoken mainly in English. Yeah, I, I'll give them that. I mean, it 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 was written by a person from India. I get that. You know, I mean, and hey, all more power to them. Congratulations. Happy for you. Made a movie. Hollywood, not Bollywood. Yeah. I mean, that, that, uh, you know, that, the, the whole build up and everything and the plan and how at first it kind of, he fails. So, you know, he gets Rana in the bathroom after putting the bleach in his cocaine. Yeah. And yeah. And he almost beats him. I kind of like the part when he goes to break through the window and he just bounces off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then let's, the uh, let's talk about the little Honda bike. Oh, Nicki Minaj, yeah, Nicki Minaj. <laughs> I mean, a little, t- yeah, that, I want one of those. That thing was awesome. You wouldn't fit in a tuck, I yeah. wouldn't, but still, you'd have to that take the seat cool. out. I would <laughs> take the seat out and then fucking sit in the, sit back. In the back seat, <laughs> looking like High Tower in Police Academy. <laughs> I like that thing. That thing was awesome. How come we don't have those over here? I mean, um, you've seen how people drive here. Yeah. Have you seen how people drive over there? Yeah. yeah. It's insane. You don't, I, I would not drive yeah. over there. Well, when we got to Kuwait, right? So we get to the airfield and they put us on a bus <clears throat> to go to uh, the base that we were going to be staying at for in processing. And like, you know, you know, the front of the bus is, there's really nothing there. And I was in the first seat directly in front of the window and that freaked me the fuck out because he's he's driving this big ass bus fucking like he was driving a fucking smart car he's zipping in and out of lanes and he's speeding and he's like going down the breakdown i was like what the hell oh yeah like that shit is scary and even when i went just just to bulgaria with mickey that first time oh i like the 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 taxi driver was like i thought he was a an f1 racer it was insane Mm-hmm. But, but yeah, people drive crazy. Oh right? fuck, big Americans! <laughs> Surprised the car would move with you in it, Billy. Shut up. <laughs> that car's not built for big boys like you. Uh, he had a Honda Civic, so once again, not built for you. No. But uh, let's talk about some of the fight scenes in this movie. Very, I think they were really well done. They compared this to John Wick when it first came out, correct? Kind of. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, they had all those cut scenes and all that. Yeah. <laughs> like that first, that first fight and escape, you know, after the failed assassination, that, that was pretty cool. Like, uh, all the way through, like he, he he's arrested in the back of the pad. He just beats the crap out of the cops, takes the gun, shoots everyone, shoots the oh. thing off. Yeah. Oh. Like oh. seriously, what the fuck? Awesome. Like so. Does one fight scene particularly stick out to you guys? Because for me, the bathroom fight. Yeah. You know, like, he's just fucking that dude all up, throws him against the glass. Oh, to me, towards the end when he's in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. Oh, he throws a guy into the the, 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 the oven, or he, like, he takes the guy's under head, the, smashes the it on the grill, and, and then takes a bottle of oil and just smashes it on him. That was a good one, yeah. That was awesome. That was a good one. Very good. Uh, that different, uh, uh, very innovative fight scenes. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I mean, they're running. They, you gotta come up with something. You can't just do the same. 
the teams, you gotta have one or two fancy special kills like that in every movie. I mean, come on. I just thought that that one was particularly well thought out. <laughs> yeah, and like we talked about, you know, it adds a little bit of humor to the scene when, you know, he goes to jump out the window and, mm-hmm. and he hits like, the, yeah. Yeah. Every other action movie would break, but this one he fucking bounces back. It's probably a good idea because he was probably really high up too at that point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but then he has to fight his way back down the stairs. You know, the guy's coming in through the into the hallway from the bathroom, so he's got to fight through his way back through those people yeah. to get out. But and then, then he gets shot and he lands in that water. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he didn't survive that. No, that, I don't care. That no, water... there's no, there's no magic healing potions good and strong enough to kill the fucking things living in that goddamn water. Yeah, that water. Oh my you God. Just, that was like that. Just looked disgusting. Yeah, that nice. was shit. Yeah, because that's what over there. Like a lot of their rivers are very polluted. No, he's that. You're dead. If you're if you have cities. if you're actively bleeding from a bullet hole and you land in that shit, you're dead. <laughs> That's infection city the, right there. The gods wanted him alive. Damn it! Yeah. No, you ends up in the temple. Ah, Jesus could come down and can't fucking save you himself. You're dead well, in that shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, that's definitely true. Now, I think my favorite scene was how he gets the gun into the the restaurant. No, with the doggy? Yeah. Yeah. That's such a good dog. You train Pee Wee to do that except bring you like a fucking cheeseburger? Not a bad idea. Pee Wee. <laughs> Don't fucking get him started. <laughs> oh, he's already started. You haven't you've heard him, right? No. He's been barking. You haven't heard him? Wow. No. I guess I got the microphone set up right because he's been like nonstop. <laughs> good. Getting a fucking muzzle for Christmas. Yeah. But all right, so let's discuss this character development throughout the movie. Hmm. This character development. So oh, obviously, man. you know, becoming, going from zero to somewhat hero, seeking this revenge. What you do you think? Stumble. He stumbled. He gets shot. Family yeah, assassination. And he had to and he train had to... at the with the guy with the uh, cool drum. Yeah, yeah, and he had to like you know get some spiritual lessons to learn that you know you gotta you gotta take it all in and you know. I can tell you, it's definitely not what I thought it was. No, it never is. No, no. This this movie, like, so Jordan Peele was an executive producer on it. Yep. <laughs> And you look at some of his his movies, us. Nope. Yeah, he didn't direct it. Yeah, right but he's or... more he's more does more like the horror, not so much the action. Yeah. No, but he does it for <clears throat> you know give people exposure, get their voices. Yeah, out there. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Which, which different is different voices thing. from you know different backgrounds, which is is pretty good. I mean, I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it nice was hot in the theater and. Even on the rewatch, I enjoyed it. Thought it moved well. Do you have a favorite scene? We already talked about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you said, you pick a fight scene. And they were all great. Like, even though the, the last scene when he's up there uh, going up through and he's got like Queenie there shooting at him. And the, and the uh, people from the temple all come in and start beating the crap out of the the people and it's just chaos it was pretty cool pretty good fight scene. it was and i think that all the fight scenes in those were really well done yeah definitely like the cinematography of moving around yeah. the fight and just kind or, of or what about that uh how he got the money for the the temple there. yes <laughs> just one kick Boom, the guy who's constantly kicking his ass is just one shot, boom, down. So they bring in the big guy and he beats that crap out of him, too. <laughs> yeah. That was awesome. And betting on himself. 
Exactly. Gotta do what you gotta do. Smart man. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I mean, he had to stand up for the temple because his temp that temple was gonna end up the same as, as his village. You know, they were gonna go in, get the people out, and ruin all those lives. So he did My what he had to do. Is, <clears throat> how could they run that scam that often where he just falls? Like are they assure that it, everybody in there is new from the, the previous time that the same fought. guy went three rounds and then got knocked out so nobody should fucking bet on him because you guarantee he's going to lose? Hmm. I mean, that wasn't really well thought out. It is like wrestling, but they're clearly actually beating the shit out of each other. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, you would think that after a certain point, even the fans would be like, maybe I shouldn't fucking bet on the monkey guy who's kicking his ass for two rounds and then fucking loses in the third every fucking time. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's the whole <coughs> gimmick of wearing the mask. Because mm-hmm. nobody else really wears a mask. Oh, King know. Cobra does. <clears throat> but He yeah, fought two or three different guys who fucking wore a mask every time he fought him. Yes. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I'm, yeah. I'm re- like I sat here Saturday night and watched this movie. Yeah, and I was like, let me just try to watch it and not focus on taking notes and focus mm-hmm. on the movie. And that did absolutely nothing. It wasn't memorable to me. Like very few things stick out. Like, and the more we talk about it, like it's coming back a little bit, but it's not fully. Coming back to me in my mind. But then again, I did watch a lot of movies this weekend. Oh, God. Oh, yes. Yeah, I did too. Well, we got two weeks worth now, so. Yeah. Because we took so, a little break. <laughs> but, uh. Do, do you guys see a potential sequel to this? Yeah, maybe. You can find some other. Uh, Did somebody some... kill his father in a terrible way? Oh, maybe. Well, we, you don't really hear anything Grandma? about the father. He's a hero <laughs> now, and <clears throat> maybe. I mean, he could, you know, find some I think other. John Wicket and now like Queenie's King organization coming after him or something. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. I don't think Queenie's uh, doing much of anything. Well, no, I said her organization, obviously. Oh. Not her. Yeah, maybe. Oh, you know what just possible. came back to me? But, the scene when he's driving when he's driving Nicki Minaj and they all run out of the club. And yeah. the, the little guy. Yeah, Alfonso. Just, I yeah. liked Alfonso. He was funny. <laughs> Fucking he's gotta stop while people are chasing him just to let him in. <laughs> but I, I liked Alfonso. I thought he was funny. So how about the directing and the acting? Everything good? Yeah, I, like I said, I, I really enjoyed this movie. I, I can't imagine it's easy being the director and the star of the movie. Yeah. Oh, like, like we kind of saw it a little bit when we did Here Comes the Boom. Kevin James would go back, check the camera, even though he wasn't directing. But, you know, you got to sit there and make sure your assistant director is on key and getting the shots that you want but then again you can kind of direct well standing there but uh any final thoughts on monkey man definitely worth a watch so yeah it's worth a watch we do recommend it yes for the fight so. scenes and the action i recommend it but yeah I mean, there were a few they kind of felt a little long they probably could have cut out some of it but i mean so it ran in at two hours and one minute. Yeah. Uh, Although I've seen also like an hour 53. I don't know if there's different cuts, but depending on where you look, two hours, one minute. Yeah, it might be two hours and one minute because they had those goddamn commercials at the beginning of the fucking peacock. No, no, they don't count the commercials. Yeah. They should. They don't. On the app, they should. <laughs> well. But yeah, that, that's a little long for an action movie. Mm-hmm. It's not Die Hard, you know. No. But, 
But it was right, entertaining. Justin. Justin, you want to run through some ratings? Sure. Yeah, I'll give it a four out of five. How about y'all? I That's give it a two and a half. I gave it three and three quarters. Really? The way you yeah. talked this up and the way you talked about it, it yeah, felt it like sure. it was. I thought you were right. I felt my like four was higher. a little high, but. No, it's, it's, it's still good. That's still above average. I mean, two and a half, that's mm-hmm. mostly for the. Um, yeah, the that's average. Scenes. Yeah. So. But. All right. IMDb gave it a 6.9. Rotten Tomatoes 88%. Letterboxd at 3.8. Well, should we reveal what our next fresh from the stream is going to be next month? That's right. Okay. So next next month we will be covering Beverly Hills Cop Axel F. That's Beverly what they went with. Four. Yes. Yeah. Which will be on Netflix. So look for that next month, but that's a wrap, folks. Thanks for joining us today. Before we go, find us on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon Podcast, Google Podcasts, and most places you listen to your podcasts. And don't forget. And don't forget to follow us on social media media to stay updated on future episodes and join the conversation. You can find us on Twitter slash X, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube at movie underscore bar underscore pod and at the movie bar podcast on facebook and please stop watching hard bodies on youtube you're getting my hopes up but until next time keep I'm the watching it popcorn. for 10 seconds i don't <laughs> care until next time keep the popcorn popping and the reels rolling and we will catch you next time on fresh from the bar presented by the movie bar podcast fresh from the bar i'm oh, sorry fresh from the stream <laughs> Are you think, fresh from the bar? I think he is. <laughs> Half in the bag.